I'm Jason Marks. I have designed and I manufacture the Espresso Deck here in Sydney, Australia. The Espresso Deck is the first ever patented recessed espresso coffee machine to the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the pressure limiting valve water filter pump to the machine. Now it needs to be done in the correct order. Basically, we've got a, uh, a tap on the wall uh, where we want to connect a pressure limiting valve to. Uh, what this does is protects mainly your water filter from water surges. These uh, happen, you know, in the middle of the night uh, when mains water is being worked on and then turned back on, uh, it can actually uh, blow a water filter apart and can be uh, very messy first thing in the morning for a cafe. Uh, so we want to protect that with a pressure limiting valve, 350 kPa um, or three and a half bar of pressure is what that is designed to bring your mains pressure down to. You can also have a check valve in that, but the main uh, idea is to have a uh, pressure maintained at 3.5 bar. From there, we come into the water filter. Now, a water filter needs to be specific to your water in the area. So some water is harder than others, some softer. You may need a water softener as well as a water filter. And if your water is as good as uh, Sydney's water, um, then I simply use a 10 micron carbon block water filter. Uh, that allows the water to keep flowing. So with the braided hose that comes with the pump, in the box on top of your uh, cup warming area. We have this braided hose that connects to the in of a water filter. So from the tap to the in, obviously, uh, we don't need any Teflon tape on this. Uh, this simply, the ball end there connects and it's metal to metal compression fitting. Uh, so any sort of Teflon tape that you did put on there will jeopardize actually getting a nice bite on that metal. So from there, we go through uh, the water filter. It's a good idea to flush any water filter for a good couple of minutes to get any sort of carbon fines or any sort of little bits of debris, dust in and out of that water filter housing. And then we can connect uh, our hose. Once again, no Teflon tape, uh, compression fitting to our 3.8 fitting here. And then from there, uh, we go onto the inlet of the pump. So we can see on the pump, it's got an arrow in and an arrow out. Obviously the water feed goes to the in direction. And then this one here uh, will be actually coming from your espresso deck and you connect that to there. Now, you can have your pump five meters away if you want, complete silence around your machine. Uh, so you can have ex an extension hose and an extension lead from your espresso deck feed. So, so this doesn't plug into the wall, this plugs into the feed from your espresso deck. You'll see a female electrical outlet from your espresso deck. That's what you plug that into, not into the wall. Once you've got all of that hooked up and installed, you should see on your espresso deck, um, the pressure gauge, three and a half bar of mains pressure. When you go to push a button, uh, then your pump will activate via the electrical lead and turn the pump on. And then you want to set that pump to uh, deliver nine bars of pressure. So the way we do that uh, is, first of all, we can test the, the pump. It'll come set to nine bar should you be using a 350 kPa pressure limiting valve. But to adjust that, to make any sort of adjustments, you might, you might particularly want eight bar or seven bar or 10 bar. So this is a little adjusting nut here. The further out you set that, the lower the pressure. The more you wind it in, the higher the pressure. Uh, but ideally, uh, the optimum pressure is nine bar. Uh, and that's when uh, loaded with a blind filter in in the basket uh, then i would adjust that to show nine bar so that's uh that's how to install a pressure limiting valve to protect the water filter and provide a nice flow of clean 
fresh water to your pump, off to your espresso deck. If you have any questions, uh, then contact us through our email, info at espressodeck.com. And thanks very much for watching.